What's up you guys, I'm Aaron, and I purchased Final Cut Studio 2, I guess a month or so ago, and as requested, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of uh, this wonderful editing suite, and in addition to that, uh, I'm going to also go into depth in some special reviews of each of the applications. So today, we will be covering uh, briefly uh, the each of the apps and uh, some of their features and just what I think about the program overall and also later on I guess in this month I will post some additional videos where I go into depth uh, into uh, Final Cut Pro and color and tell you guys what I think about them some amazing features that I've seen uh, some of the new features Apple has added and just uh, my general perspective and you guys all know that I love Apple I love Final Cut Studio and uh, I guess there's there's not too much bad I can really tell you guys about it so if you're looking for that uh, I'm probably not the best person to ask but uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and get into it okay so this is the Final Cut Pro uh, pretty cool suite um, it's set up exactly like uh, Final Cut Pro 5. This is uh, the sixth version. Um, it's also really identical to Final Cut Pro Exp or Final Cut Express. So uh, if you had to transition from any of those systems, you would not have an issue. However, uh, with iMovie, uh, you might because the interface is obviously extremely different you have more than two uh, audio tracks um, I don't know how many it goes up to but I know you can have a ton of video tracks and you can overlap your layers of course so that's definitely something new for an iMovie editor to experience uh, you have two windows you have your preview window and your uh, your timeline your canvas so you know you use them differently but it's 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 an overall very uh, simple system, very intuitive and easy to use. Uh, w beginning with this system, I I found it very simple. I, of course, it takes uh, a little bit of time to get used to it, but it has uh, a lot of advanced features and some some standard features that of course you get used to using. You have uh, tons of tools here, if you can see. Uh, the selection tool, the editing selection tool, uh, track forward, roll, uh, the razor blade, zoom, all kinds of uh, tools you use um, in this system. Also what's very important is the, your audio levels. You want to make sure you watch these so that you don't clip your audio. Um, uh, you can control all sorts of different parameters uh, for your clips you can uh, you know control the crop distortion occupancy and you can add keyframing to each of these so that your video operates uh, and moves however you want your video to move so that's all also very awesome uh, to be able to use and uh, you can program your your window however you prefer it I, I prefer it to look just like this but uh, I think the standard is a little bit different than, than this setup. Um, you can uh, link your selections, your clips, so that uh, when you select something that's connected, uh, I don't think any of these clips are connected, all the audio is external, but uh, by clicking this, you're making it so that they stay together rather than if you separate these, obviously it's going to be a lot different or it'll be uh, uh, you know separated from its original audio source and then this is the button tool that allows you to uh, snap everything into position so that if you wanted to connect this to here you place your your timeline or your uh, your positioning head wherever you like it and it's actually very helpful in your editing um, the method I use is simple drag and drop. I don't use in and out points except for when I'm in my uh, in my preview menu. I might, you know, want this clip, and then I want that. So then I'll take that and drag and drop it right here. 
that's how I do my editing. Some people do it differently. In Avid, it, it's similar, but somewhat a little bit different. You can also take it and move it over here into your inserts uh, where it'll add transitions for you. And you can just do all, you know, different sorts of inserts there. So it's, it's a very simple system. Um, here's where you keep all your tracks. And uh, of course, as you continue to work with it, you get used to using it. So I love it. In my opinion, it's it's my favorite editing suite. This is Soundtrack Pro, uh, an awesome audio tool. You can use the tons and tons of, of, of sound beds they have for you, music beds, and you have tons of sound effects uh, you will find, and it's an awesome tool to use in your editing. Uh, let's open up a window here for you. Um, here we go. So just like the uh, the uh, Final Cut Pro, you have multiple layers of audio, which is extremely helpful because obviously you have different sound effects that may be going at the same time. You have different music and uh, you know different things going on. So it's it's extremely helpful in your editing, and it's a lot simpler to use to do all of your your sound effects and all your audio editing here and then exporting it into the Final Cut Pro and both of them intermingle you can send from Final Cut Pro your clips to your Soundtrack Pro and you can send it back and any updates you do here updates to your Final Cut Pro so that's pretty awesome uh, you see all kinds of, of features uh, sound effects here on the left um, different actions you can do. Uh, you can see your video here as you are doing your live uh, real-time editing and of course like I mentioned um, you can search all sorts of different sound effects, sound beds, instruments, create whatever you need really here and then also you have the browser where you can take uh, audio sources, your media and bring it onto the timeline. So it's it's a very cool editing tool, uh, very cool sound system. So, and also I should note that you can also edit in full surround sound, which is extremely helpful. You can tailor uh, whatever effects wherever you need them throughout your theater. So that's awesome. So of course we have Motion Three. We can start with the new project here and create uh, whatever you like. If you're experienced with Motion, of course you might want to go that route and create your own tailored uh, uh, you know media or you can work with the template which is always pretty fun they have tons of templates here they have 3d text and other templates which can also be integrated into your DVD studio so that you can use uh, the templates from here or a motion project you can create you can also use that for your DVD studio pro menus which is pretty cool uh, so let's grab a template here. I like the cluster template. So we'll open that up. So over here on the left, you see your file browser where you can uh, look at everything you might, any type of media you have on file you want to bring into the program. You have your library where you can view uh, the different uh, effects or or generators or image units that you might want to add and it will show you all of that let's go to some particles um, which is always pretty cool to play with there's basic smoke so you can literally add that to wherever you like on your timeline on your clip it works very similar to the Final Cut Pro it has a standard timeline and also you can edit your keyframing so you can tailor however you want your your you know media to move and then you can also do your audio editing here as well over here you have your layers kind of similar to uh, to uh, Photoshop your media and your audio so uh, in addition to this you can you can work with uh, 3d which is uh, awesome you can literally move um, your camera angles in this unlimited 3D atmosphere, which is amazing.